but Don's time in jail drawing to a close in Hawkins County. We are waiting to see whether he will be taken straight to Utah to answer for the serious allegations against him made by his stepsisters, Jeannie and Mary. Here is an update on their case against Don Wells. I had a chat with Mary last week Thursday. She told me that she spoke to their detective around the 1st July and he said he was going on vacation until the 21st. He told Mary if she wanted to she could call the DA and talk to them. Mary made an appearance on Chris McDonough's channel, the interview room last night, and she gave more information on their case. According to Mary, it's been more than a month now that they've turned everything into the DA. Mary called the DA's office the other day, and she was told there is actually three cases, and it's all still active. The DA's office told Mary to call back in a week or two. So, why just three cases? According to Chris McDonough, it usually means that out of the five, or how many other victims, these three cases are the strongest cases to present. Mary said they would be getting in touch with all three of them, probably to give them some victim advocate numbers. So, from the looks of things, this is a good sign that things are moving forward in their case, and Don will be heading to Utah to answer to these charges. It's a very good sign everyone. Mary couldn't get into too much detail about the case, because she didn't want to jeopardize the case, but from what I can tell, this is a good sign that justice will come for these women.